Today is Saturday, April 4th. A little bit cloudy out. The temperature is nice. Should be up in the upper 50s to around 60 today. We've got some sun kind of peeking through, which feels nice. And I thought we'd come tinker around with this a little bit today. I made a little bit of progress over the last week or two with putting a few windows in when I found some free time. These are temporarily put in. I've just got a couple screws holding these in place because I want to get some different hardware and sourcing stuff right now is a little bit more challenging. So we're just nibbling away at this. But we've got three windows in at the moment. One in the back, one in the side, and the one in the front. And as far as the next two windows I want to put in, the last two windows that I have, which will bring it up to five, I've got these marked out. So there'll be one there, there'll be one over there. The one on the right, right here, is kind of going to be in our little bit of a bathroom. So we'll have a window there. And of course, we've got lots of trim to do on the inside around these windows. But it is kind of cool to see these going in. For today, we're going to try to get these other two windows in. And then for the roof, I want to replace one or two of these studs because they're a little bit crooked. It would be okay, but since I had some wood dropped off a couple weeks ago, and I've got some studs that are straighter, we're going to use ones that are a little bit, a little bit better for those. And in addition to the studs that I had dropped off, I had a bunch of Luon dropped off as well, just sitting over there. And that's what we're going to use for the roof, as well as the lower walls. And that's the first window cut into this side. So we'll see how well the window is going to fit. We might have to trim that up just a little bit. That's the first window dropped in that fit really, really well. And again, this is just tacked in with two screws until I get some different hardware and kind of flesh out how I want to finish that full installation. And that'll need a lot of sealant as well. But right now we're just putting these in place. And there's that one. So we'll move on to the next one. There are the two side windows put in. Looking pretty good. And again, these are just temporarily tacked in place. And I will have to do a little bit of new sealant around some of the glass. These windows were not expensive. They were about 35 bucks each. And some of the silicon seals are not fantastic. So we'll definitely be doing some of that. But I think that looks pretty good. Let's walk around, take a look on the inside. Turning into a beautifully sunny early April Saturday afternoon. The next thing is to start putting these roof panels on. So we've got our center supports, our two by fours lined up inside. And the first sheet of Luan Going to go ahead and mark, and then we'll pull that off, trim that up, and screw that down, and then move on to the second piece. So we've got our sheet, our first sheet over here on the picnic table, and our line is marked. So I want to clamp down a straight edge. So we can try to keep that as true as we possibly can. The first Luan piece is on the roof. It's kind of hard to see from here, but if we go inside, then we can kind of climb up on it and take a look. At least climb up next to it and take a look. This is not going to be supporting anybody's weight. So that's our first our first section. Okay. 
So let's put the second piece on top, make notes on it, some cut lines, and cut that piece out. That's our second piece. We've got that marked, so let's pull that off, trim it up, and screw it down. We've got both sheets of Luan on the roof, so it's beginning to be buttoned up. Still have trim and sanding and things to really clean up those edges. And as far as the exterior goes, we've got the corners to address, and I'm still thinking about how I want to handle those parts. But we've got a roof and a ceiling in here, which is pretty cool. Starting to look like a little cabin. The next things to work on for the inside is those, or are those lower walls. And that'll be Luan. And then we can start designing our kitchen counter area and the little potty enclosure, as well as the benches. I'm going to try to reuse some of the old bench frames because I think those are in pretty good shape and we can make use of, of that hardware. We're making progress, kind of cool. And just a quick look of the roof. Another little thing that's been bothering me since we got this camper, before we got it, somebody had a little ding in here. So since it's opened up on the inside, we're going to try to straighten that out just a little bit. This tail light points down just ever so slightly compared to the other one. So we'll try to clean that up a little bit. Other than that, the frame was in really, really good shape. And because it was garage kept for decades, the chassis and the axle and all that stuff is in really good shape. It will be painted just to clean it up, but that part is pretty good. So we are coming along. Very cool. Thanks very much for taking a look.